Welcome guys! Moving targets at long ranges are often difficult to hit in PUBG because of the realistic bullet velocities and the vast distances. But I'm here to tell you that I've got a simple way for you to be able to hit most of those shots. In order to hit those targets, you need to A. Learn how to judge distances and B. Know how far ahead you need to shoot. You can see distances by looking at your map. The large squares are kilometers and the small ones are 100 meters. So, since you need to learn how to judge distances to know how far ahead you must shoot, you could just play hours and hours and get that experience through trial and error. But you could also take some time to train that judgment consciously. I've put together some footage here showing you the different distances with different scopes. But as long as you can judge the unscoped distance, you've come really far. You don't need a precise meter to meter eye judgment, but you should at least be able to see if the distance is close to 100 meters or more like 200 meters away. We simply need to know how far ahead the enemy is in order to calculate how far ahead to shoot based on the bullet velocity and the movement velocity of the enemy. Aside from the distance to the enemy, another critical factor is the bullet velocity. The best assault rifle in terms of hitting moving targets at a distance would be the M16A4 as it has the fastest bullet velocity of all assault rifles. So for long shot assault rifle shots, I'd recommend using that. Now I've developed what I call the 1 to 100 rule, which is a simple rule of thumb that will enable you to easily hit moving targets at a distance. But first, I'm going to let you in on the numbers behind this rule. A player carrying an assault rifle can sprint 6 meters per second. The M16A4 has an initial bullet velocity of 900 meters per second. The width of the player model hitbox is approximately 1.6 meters. If the distance to our target is 100 meters, then the bullet impact will occur after 1.11 seconds. This means our target would have moved approximately 1.6 meters, moving perpendicular to the bullet trajectory before the bullet hits. So if the target is 100 meters away, just imagine that another player is running directly in front of your target and just aim for that fictional player, as the player model hitbox size is about 1.6 meters wide too. The same would be the case for 200 meters, here you aim two player models ahead, and for 300 meters, it's also the same. This is the 1 to 100 rule. In this example, I'm situated at the military island. My position is here and my enemy is here. The distance to my target is 125 meters, so I would have to aim approximately one player model ahead in order to hit the target. The enemy changes position while I'm shooting at him, but you can see here, as he runs perpendicular to the bullet trajectory, aiming one player model in front of him is exactly what I need. Now in my next example I'm using the AKM, which as you can see has the slowest bullet velocity of all assault rifles. But don't worry, the 1 to 100 rule will get the job done anyway. Here, I'm positioned 225 meters away from my target, which means I would have to aim about two player models ahead of my targets in order to hit him. Since the bullet velocity is slower than the M16A4, I would have to shoot further ahead, but in the moment I was aiming about two player models ahead, so I'd recommend just doing that and you can always correct if you don't hit. So far I've only mentioned assault rifles, but the beautiful thing about the 1 to 100 rule is that it works with all sniper rifles too, with the exception of the VSS which is a subsonic sniper rifle. If you were to actually use the VSS for this, it would be more like 2 to 100, meaning you'd have to aim 2 player models ahead for every 100 meters of distance. Now that's all I had for you in this guide, if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and keep those ideas for new videos coming. And I'll see you guys next time.